Today we're going to talk to you about the Stockman Standard Shoot by Livestock Shed, some of the features it has versus the features that the Stockman Deluxe Shoot has. We're going to start from the head gate and work our way back to the tailgate on this particular chute. We're going to start from the head gate. This is basically your standard head gate that you see on a lot of squeeze chutes out there. This has a little bit different type of adjustments. For one thing, the adjustment on the width of your head gate is with these pins here. Just by pulling these pins out, you can actually adjust this in and out depending on the size of cattle you have. To operate this head gate, you've got a handle on both sides. Again, that gives you the ability to operate this head gate from either the right hand side or the left hand side of the chute. To open it up, you're going to push this handle forward and pull that handle back and it opens the head gate all the way up. Once you release this, this head gate is spring loaded. So as you release it, it automatically sets to catch the next animal coming into the chute. There's a lot of, lot of head gates out there that don't have that option. The nice thing is, is a lot of times when you're running cattle, you have another animal right behind the one in front of it. This gives you the ability to catch that second one, or it also gives you the ability not to have to readjust and reset this head gate. It automatically does it for you. Next feature we're going to discuss on this is the depth adjustment bolt. The reason you utilize that is depending on the size of animals you have coming into the chute. If you've got mature bulls or mature cows, you want it to open further into the chute. If you've got smaller calves, about 400 pound calves coming into it, you don't want it to fall that, that far back into the chute. The way you adjust that is just by twisting this to the left or right will allow the depth adjustment. The features on this side of the head gate, you've got a couple. I had showed you how this head gate automatically resets to catch the next animal in coming into the chute. That's with this little adapter right here. I'll show you how it goes in, in slow motion. It hits this bar in back which releases your back plate. So as that proceeds back, it allows your head gate to open back into the chute. Another feature that this one has that I like, that I've used a lot, is if you're loading out a bunch of cattle from your tub, through your alley, and into your chute, this has the ability to hold this head gate open. So now you can run them in without having to have somebody up here hold this head gate open. And it's just a quick little pin that you push up to release it. Just apply a little pressure to the head gate. It drops that, it drops that pin and then it's ready to catch the next animal. The last feature up here towards the head gate that I want to talk to you about is a brisket bar. Not too many chute manufacturers have brisket bars. Typically the ones that you'll find are the ones that have what they call a parallel squeeze. They squeeze evenly top to bottom. The reason being is when you squeeze that way, it hits them at mid-rib, the widest point on that animal, and gives them the option, either I'm going up or I'm going down. Well, it's easier for them to kick their feet out from under them, and this sits right underneath their breast, so it holds them up in the chute and keeps them from going all the way down in the chute. It is easily removed with a pin up front, so if you get smaller animals, anything less than 400 pounds, you want to remove it because they will tend to have a tendency to dodge it going one side or the other. The next part of this chute that we're going to talk about is the squeeze area of the squeeze chute. We're going to start up at the front with your neck access doors. Easy access from either side of the chute. The doors swing wide open so you gain all the access you need for neck shots. The nice thing about this chute as we go through it, this side is exactly identical to the opposite side. So everything we can do on this side we can also do on that opposite side. And it does lock into place, so if you've got uh, animals that you've caught in the head gate and they're kicking around, they're not going to bump this open. Plus, with this poly skirting on here, it keeps their feet or heads in until you catch them inside the head gate. 
As far as squeezing this particular chute, you've got a large handle here, which again, you can reverse to the other side just by pulling this bolt out in this spring and adapting it up to the other side. You can also squeeze from that side as well. And all we do is we push this handle forward. As we push it forward, both sides squeeze in. This is what you call a parallel squeeze. Both sides squeezes in evenly top to bottom. To release it, you pull the small handle back. It releases your dog, what some people will call it. And you pull the handle back and it opens up to squeeze again. These, this chute has side exits again on both sides. To release a side exit, you've got spring-loaded latches. This side will open completely up so you can gain access to the side of the animal if you need to or if an animal goes down on you. This is an easy way to get them out of the chute. To close it, it's got slam latches on there, again spring-loaded so that they latch themselves. Your kick pans work the same way. They swing all the way open, so if you've got a cow in here not taken to a calf and you need to get them to nurse, it gives you plenty of access, plenty of room in here for that calf to get in. Plus, if you need to work on their feet or their udders, you can also do that from this location as well. Again, spring-loaded latches. We've got drop-down side pipes. These are skirted with this poly as well. The less the animal can see out, the easier they are to work, the less distractions that they can see from outside the equipment. These have little bars that hold them into place. These will swing completely down and out of your way, so if you needed to brand and then to close them, you lift it up. It also has a slam latch type system for it as well. The next component to this squeeze is what I like to call the tail bar. The nice thing about this is if you get a cow that you've worked several times before, she's real lethargic, she's not hitting that head gate hard enough, you're going to take the bar out of the back of the chute, slide it across, and you've got plenty of leverage here that you basically just work her up to the back of that head gate, and then it'll close and lock on her. This also works well if you've got an animal that's blowing up at the head gate on you. You can push them all the way up to the back of that head gate and it will keep them up there without them bouncing around on you. you just pull it out and you can set it back in. And from what you can see, there's grease fittings even on your drop pipes as well as all your hinges. Where everything hinges, you've got a grease fitting. The last part of this chute that we're going to discuss is the tailgate section of this chute. You can either operate this tailgate either by the rope and handle up here towards the front of the chute. So if you've got somebody pushing the animals to you, you can operate it from up here so you can watch them getting caught at the same time you can open and shut the tailgate from here. This tailgate is what they call a bifold tailgate. It's spring loaded and it shuts automatically on itself. You can also operate this tailgate from the back of the chute. There's a handle again on both sides so you can operate it from the left or right side of the chute. Just by grabbing onto this handle, pulling it forward, that opens it up and then releasing it, shuts back behind the animal.